Hey folks, I'm Dieter Melhorn. In this video, I'm going to go over five lies that you've been told about catfish bait. Well, one thing is true. Catfish are big scent feeders. They rely heavily on smell, especially when feeding at night in complete darkness. Even when they're in deep water, they can hardly see anything. So scent is important. But you don't have to have something that is horribly stinky to catch a catfish. Most of the things that catfish are pursuing are alive. They're live fish. They're not down there feeding on something that is dead, rotting, and decaying. The truth is, is that when something dies in the water, it doesn't last very long, and it seldom ever has a chance to actually rot and decay. So you don't need something that is really horribly smelling. So get that out of your head. If you've ever been told that something has to smell horrible and nasty to catch a catfish and to be a good catfish bait, well, somebody lied to you. Now, all our lives we've been told that catfish are bottom feeders. And to a certain extent, they are. There's a lot of stuff on or near the bottom that they feed on. Mussels, crawdads, clams, small fish, there is stuff down there for them to eat that is prey for them. But that's really true for just about any fish. Uh, the confusion comes in in that people have this misconception that they're feeding on something dead on the bottom, uh, trash, that type thing. And that's really not true. What this leads fishermen to do is all they do is fish with baits on the bottom. And while there are times when this is good to do and very productive, one of the smarter things to do is start to suspend those baits up off the bottom. Not everything a catfish eats and feeds on is on the bottom. So laying your bait on the bottom constantly is not, not a good idea. So if somebody told you that catfish are just bottom feeders, well, they lied to you. All right, folks, one thing that is true, and that is fresh bait is the best bait. And what I mean by that is bait that is still alive or was just swimming a little bit ago. Bait that has not been frozen. Let's face it, fish in the water don't eat frozen fish. They don't ever come in contact with it. So it's not something that is 100% natural. The biggest part with frozen bait is that when it freezes and when it dies, uh, most of the blood pulls back into the organs. That's why when you cut open a piece of frozen bait, you don't see that bloody flesh that you would see on a fish that was uh, just alive that you're cutting apart. Now, with that said, some people say you can't catch fish on frozen bait. And if they told you that, they lied to you. You can catch fish on frozen bait. It is not ideal. It is not the most perfect bait. But if you've got a choice between going fishing and taking some frozen bait from the house versus going fishing with a grocery store bait like chicken or hot dogs or popcorn or marshmallows, you're better off going fishing with the frozen bait. I know plenty of people that have caught trophy fish, big catfish on frozen bait. And I even know a few guys that have won tournaments using frozen bait. Now, there are some tricks to freezing bait to make it optimal vacuum sealing is one of the most important things. This really helps reduce freezer burn by reducing all the air space inside a bag. So you want the best frozen bait you can have, but don't hesitate to take it. If it's the only choice that you've got between using fish, natural fish from that river, lake, wherever it is that you're fishing and it's frozen versus nothing at all or some grocery store bait, go with the frozen bait. Now there's an old saying that you will hear whether you're fishing in fresh water or fishing in salt water. And that saying is big bait equals big fish. Now, while there is some truth to that, uh, there's also a big misconception and a reason why big fish are caught on big baits. The biggest reason is, is that a little fish can't eat a bait the size of your fist when its mouth is only that big. Basically what is happening when you are using really big baits, you are eliminating more small fish than you are attracting big fish. Listen, a piece of bait puts off a lot of scent. Even a small piece of bait puts off enough scent for a fish to find it. 
So there's always an argument that a bigger bait puts off a bigger scent. Maybe there's some truth to that, but if you're fishing in a lake or reservoir where there's no current, it really doesn't matter because there's nothing moving that scent around anyway. The biggest thing is, is with a big bait, it's going to eliminate small fish. Now, in my experience and the experience of a lot of other guys I've talked to, uh, I fish big bait, they fish big bait, and many times some of our biggest fish have come on smaller baits. Why is that? Well, there's a lot of reasons and a lot of things that can come into play. Maybe they just stumbled across the small bait first. It can also be that maybe the fish is not really actively feeding and actively looking for something to eat, but it stumbles across your bait, especially if you're dragging or drifting these baits by. Whereas a big bait, a big meal, he may pass up because his body doesn't want to process something that big. A little bait, he may take a bite of. So a little thing to keep in mind, big bait doesn't always equal big fish. And if anybody tells you that, they lied to you. All right, one of the most sought after predators out there in the catfish world is the flathead catfish. It is an apex predator. People love to catch them. They're very, very strong fighters, always fun to catch, but very elusive. And a lot of people will tell you, if you're gonna catch a flathead, you need to use live bait. Well, in my experience, live bait works, and there may be some areas where it works better than cut bait. But I will say this, and I'll make this argument, and I've heard this from friends of mine that fish for flatheads in lakes and reservoirs. It seems that cut bait will produce more fish. Now, why is that? I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of scent distribution, a lot of scent spread from a cut bait, and the flatheads will hit it. I fish live baits when I go out looking for flathead catfish along, around log jams and structure. But sadly, most of the flatheads that I catch come on cut bait. So if anybody tells you that flatheads will only hit live bait, guess what? They lied to you. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. And here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.